everyone, yes, we are on, finally on. Uh, everyone, this is Muta Takdebowali on the Tell and Brew Business Show. And today I'm on with Jacqueline Grant, the amazing Jacqueline Grant. Jacqueline Grant is a personal trainer. She is a mobile personal trainer. She is a health coach and an educator, facilitator, education facilitator she's going to be able to introduce herself Jacqueline <laughs> is fantastic she knows how to grant health and healthy lifestyles to busy professionals and today we're going to be talking about how to stay healthy as a busy professional Jacqueline I'm going to give you all you know you need to introduce yourself so that the people know who you are and why you're on today thank you so much for coming I'm really grateful over to you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, so I'll start off with, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a mobile personal trainer, health coach, and financial educator. So my first passion is health. Um, and I um, have, I still teach classes. I still teach classes. I've got like two classes that I teach a week boot camp early morning, 6.30. Always get you, get you, get you energized for the morning, set you up for the day. Um, yeah. And uh, I health coach people. So that's really around transformational coaching, really around people um, focusing on what habits that they can change um, in order to keep them as a new habit and build them in a, as a new habit. Um, and uh, and health coaching. So health coaching that in, I, I generally encompass health coaching and personal training together now. Um, but sometimes some people are just having health coaching. Some people are just having um, personal training. And my financial education is a new thing that I'm doing. So I won't talk too much about it because we're talking about um, being um, mm -hmm. healthy, professional, and being healthy. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> So that's me, really. But I really focus, just to say, just to say, sorry, uh, I really focus on women with hormonal imbalances who want to lose weight. That's my key client group that I work with. Good. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so very much for adding that. Good. And um, hopefully by the end of the show, you're going to leave a link where people can get in touch with you and, you know, how they can actually access the services that you provide. OK, so tell us who what was the moment, the time when you said to yourself that I have got to be this business owner, I've got to start my business in the health coaching field or in the health coaching niche or well, what happened what was the transition from who you used to be before you started your business and then to who you are what would happen or was that moment when you made that decision and why that's an amazingly long question <laughs> and i could go on all night but i won't okay so um, I used to work in health and social care, so I've been in health for a, 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 a long period of time, but it was more working with drugs and alcohol. Um, I was a senior manager, and I always kept saying, right, I'm going to stop doing this, I'm going to get into personal training, um, you know, I'm going to stop this job. And um, actually, I, I started training to be a fitness instructor. Well, I passed my fitness instructor in 2007, so I've been teaching classes since then. and but I still continued my job until 2013. That's when I actually left my job. So it took me a long period of time to actually realize that, you no, know, I no longer wanted to work in um, that field because, you know, their, what, how they were working didn't um, connect with my values anymore. Um, and, you know, I did want to like start my own business. So even though from 2010, I had started my business. <laughs> yeah. I, had two, I had two classes. I, teach, I taught Zumba. So I, I, I was teaching my Zumba classes from 2010. And um, yeah, um, but full time, I didn't start until 2014 because I actually went and, and left my job and went and worked in a gym for really poor wages, minimum wage. I just couldn't believe it. But I went and did that 
because I knew that I wanted to break out and, and, and do my own business. So you had to go through the pain in order to get to where I am now, um, where, you know, my business myself um, and, you know, I, I, can, I can work when I want and, you know, take on clients, and put them in the gaps of where I want. And if I don't want to work in the evening, I don't work in the evening and I keep my work life balance as, as, as good as it is. But good. yeah. Good. That's really great. Yeah. Now that you know, you said you left your job completely at some point. And at that time, I know that it must have been a bit not stressful, maybe nervous should mm. be the word. And then you're thinking, OK, is it the right decision? What mindset actually did you have at the beginning of that journey when you said to yourself, finally, I'm going to just stay on my own and start this business, you know, that actually led to you becoming successful in your business now? So what so, mindset did you start with? My mindset was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Because really, it was like uh, I was. I had one. I had three months' notice because I was senior manager, so it was a three months' notice. So it was really difficult to go in every day thinking, "Oh, this is taking so long." I mean, a month's notice would have been good, and people kept going to me, "Are you really leaving? Are you really leaving?" And, you know, with three months of listening to that, you you know, at sometimes you're going. Shall I do it? Shall I not do it? Do, do you see what I'm saying? Because it was a long period of time, um, and so it it was it it was mixed, and also I didn't have anything to go to, so um, I, you know, I was leaving based on nothing, just having my two classes, um, but I was just like, you know, I'm not staying here. I'm not doing this. Um, you know, actually. I kind of felt like you work in a job for a long period of time, you give so much to it, but you don't receive the same back, you know? So it, it, it you know, it was like, it's, it's, it's a no brainer, I'm leaving, <laughs> Do you know? Um, so um, in terms of my mindset, it's really changed over the time because you have to get strong, you have to get resilient, you have to uh, hear no's when people don't want to take up your service. You have to um, you have to respond to when you when you can see that you you might not have as many clients coming in. You have to do training. You have to do personal development. There's so much that you have to do to grow in yourself um, and in you know, in understanding how to to build your business and you know what you know what type of coaching or mentoring is going to support you what what's going to help you do you know what i mean it's it's, it's just yeah there's so much there's so much it's not it's not just easy just going bang let me just leave this and start a business it's not it's not like that exactly <laughs> it's, 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 a lot. it's a lot I mean, yeah. for any successful business business owner, entrepreneur, I know that there are challenges. I mean, all the time. But what makes you who you are, what makes you get the success that you get eventually is your resilience, your, you know, ability to say, to stay courageous, to face yeah. the challenges. So yeah. I know you also had some challenges. So how exactly did you handle these challenges that came, you know, in the beginning of you standing on your two feet you know as a business owner well the way that i did it was i did go and get a personal training job so it, it was i had a transition i was able to even though i left my full-time job i went into a job and i was able to kind of um slowly build it whilst doing this job part-time so that was quite good um Getting some coaching was also um, something that I did as well, because that kind of helped me shape, you know, because marketing and that, you know, you don't get it on your, well, you do now on your personal training course. You didn't get it before as part of the package. 
there was no business um, marketing or anything like that. So, you know, I had to buy that separately and ha get coaching around that. Um, what was your question again? Let me see, because I could know I can go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the challenges were exactly and how you oh, okay, more challenges. From them. OK, so and yes, yeah, so the challenge was was to actually start build putting these bits in what you get from your coach or marketing things that you maybe we not even want to do do you know what i mean because that's not I what do, you... i do know <laughs> yeah i know that's that a lot yeah you know that's not... that. yeah, yeah. No. It, it, it's like you go you go to a business and you're thinking yeah i just want to do the personal training mm -hmm. bit i don't want to bother with the marketing the accounts you know <laughs> all those yeah. admin stuff you know so those have been challenges because because you know i i had you know the time where i got the fine for the tax because i didn't get it in in time because i was like leave it last minute because i don't really like doing that part you know <laughs> it's yeah. not the part i like so you know um and so that was that was a challenge um but of course i've i've overcome that because now i use a system um and i've got an account and so you know that's whereas before i had a spreadsheet and i did it all myself you know so you know you you move on you transition you get over these things but these are things that you know um just trying to think what other things that i had in terms of challenges probably loads you know i'm just like <laughs> uh, trying to think of right so that um um isolation that's a challenge because you're working for yourself sure um, and you're talking to yourself, you can talk to yourself all day long, but that's not really going to help. Um, so overcoming that is going to networking. So I go to a lot of networking meetings and connect with other business owners and stuff like that. Um, so, so that's kind of, you, because you look bouncing off of other people and also other people have other strengths that you know can help you so that's that's actually been really really useful with that as well um yeah i think i think that's enough challenges for now <laughs> thank you so much for sharing these great nuggets with us you don't understand you know how much you shared with us now you know if anyone is watching and they want to go into business or they're in the business struggling now they understand that you know they can't do it alone they have to go networking you've said that to mm. us they know that there's going to be challenges in a way they know that they need coaching they know that they need to face the admin task it's not you know it's not so easy when we say to ourselves well oh, i'm going to start my business and thinking it's just a jolly ride all the way so to know yeah. all of those things now thank you so very much and i do understand and you know the thing with marketing i mean until you get inside it and you stay resilient you don't grow into marketing yourself comfortably which is you know what a lot of entrepreneurs try to struggle with okay i'm sure you share that thank you so very much so after going all through all of these and coming this far i know that i mean success at some point will mean something to you so what does success mean to you as a business owner so success means that i'm happy <laughs> i'm happy with you know <laughs> with what i'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis um i'm happy being able to um get the results with my clients that they need you know that people grow in in you know when when i'm working with them that they grow and they flourish and there's some change and transition for them um success means to me that i'm happy my family's happy um i'm actually having a uh, balance in what i do that i'm making sure that i'm looking after myself um through you know through my through my work and through you know, be, making sure that I'm being with my friends and, grow, you know, having that time, making sure that I'm, you know, nourishing myself in, in not just eating, but nourishing myself with people and nourish myself with the environment. Um, what else does success mean to me? Um, that I am comfortable with, with I've, what, what I've developed. I'm comfortable with, 
um, the outside world and everything that comes in towards me. I'm grateful for everything that I have. I think that's that's what success means to me. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, and when you think about, before I, let me just say hello to Cordelia. Thanks so much for viewing us. And somebody yeah. else is joined. Thank you. So, yeah, um, before I go into the next thing, which is a lot of people, now that you, you find this joy in the things that you do, you understand, and it, it, it brings back why, the motivation for you to continue, for you to keep going, for you to keep striving, because a lot of people get mixed up. But once you begin to get the results, you, you find out that, I mean, you just want to put in more efforts to make sure that your business succeeds your business stands because you're living the life that you want to live you're living on your own terms so tell me why do you think that the key components to your what do you think the key components to your success are what did you put in what were the things that you should know that shifted you know in your life when you when you began to get results or when you know the things started coming together what were the key components to your success that you make in your business mindset that's that I think our mindset was the, the a real key component because it's really about believing in yourself believing that you can do what what you set out to do because the thing is it's so difficult sometimes because sometimes you think to yourself oh, I'm not going to get these clients I'm not I'm not gonna uh, you know I'm not going to be able to um help them i'm not gonna you you just put all kinds of rubbish in your head yeah and so mindset is is really really important because once you once you shift that mindset into that i know i believe i can do this i believe that i'm gonna have abundance i believe that i'm gonna be successful i believe that i'm going to help you know a hundreds of women to to um you know reduce their hormone hormone imbalances and lose weight feel great you know um once you shift that mindset that is when you kind of know that you're successful that's one of it i think in terms of because when it comes to actually building a business and that you know i think that as long as i had the structure that was easy enough for me to do so you know once I got structured in my in my plan in my execution, I knew that I could do that. But it was my mindset all the time blocking my success. <laughs> so I think that you know that that that's the key, really. You know that that was one of the key shifts I had to make. I think. Oh, yeah. thank you so very much. I mean, I mean, we cannot overemphasize the need for people to change their mindset you know mm. to to move the way to think about themselves about their business about what they can do to help themselves move and how they can actually create a lot more impact in in mm. other people's lives in the world you know once that is shifted to I can't do it or I'm scared and it's well we're not talking too much about that it's because a lot of people think just about themselves so the thing they concentrate on themselves I can't do it I can't what will people yeah. say about me all of those things once we shift yeah. that away and concentrate on the value on the gifts and the goodness that I want to give hopefully things will change thank you so much for sharing that so now let's move to the really the crux of today's topic what we're actually coming here to say so this is the tell and grow your business show and i am with jacqueline grant jacqueline grant is our lovely wonderful personal trainer and health coach and she is talking about how to stay healthy as a busy professional so jacqueline right to that place where you help your busy professionals how exactly as a busy professional can you stay healthy it is if you read you know the intro to the program the promo of the program i said it's a luxury it is a luxury that money cannot buy time so how do you help a busy professional stay healthy you know while still being busy and all of that how do you do it yeah well, the number, the key thing is, you only have one place to live. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Now, 
So if you don't look after that one place that you have to live, yeah. then you're not going to be that busy professional. You That's know, so true. right? You were just not going to be. So you know, the number key, the key thing is that you need to build in as much as you can some way of looking after yourself so whether that's with your nutrition you know making sure that you're having everything if i always say an acronym if you can't dig it kill it don't eat it so you know if if we build, try to focus on that um then then that's good so it's it's mainly not eating the crap as i would say caffeine refined sugar alcohol and, pro, and processed food processed food yeah although i you know my tagline is that you can still drink alcohol so it is just in 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 moderation <laughs> so it's it's just about building things in slowly so not like you know if you feel like you're only drinking two glasses of water you know each week build that up to three glasses you know for a couple of weeks then you know building more and more until you till you get up to the eight glasses although i wouldn't say eight glasses optimum it's it's really 0.67 times your weight that in pounds which you should be thinking about getting up to for for your water intake and when we think about exercise because people think oh you have to get down the gym and you have to like you know pound some weights and stuff like that obviously if you want to like a lot of people say i'd like to get toned you really if you want to get toned you need to use some heavy weights you know that's the only way you have to fatigue the muscle in in order for it to to get toned so um but when i think about movement it's if people think about what can you do in your day that will take you about 30 minutes to actually um make you feel good it don't have to be going to the gym it can be just you know something that you used to love when you were at school it could be you know netball it could be get tennis you know those kind of things you know um there's so many different things that you could do it could be something that you thought oh i'd like to i don't know do skiing or something like that there's a dry ski i don't even know if that is still around here in, in london there was a dry ski slope so you know just finding something that's going to give yourself a, some kind of movement in your life so i mean the main things that i would be saying to people is making sure you get good enough sleep water good nutrition and making sure that you move those would be the things good thank you so very much for that Cordelia Gaffar said, our body is our one life suit, which is really true, you know, it's exactly. one life suit that you wear for the entirety of your life, you know, the lifetime. And that's why we have to keep it intact as much as we can. Okay, thank you so much for that um, tips that you've given us. Um, you, all of these things are things to do with you moving yourself physically and, you know, putting this physical efforts into, do we need to change any of our mindset, uh, beliefs or anything within our consciousness to be able to achieve this balance, to be able to achieve the feat of, you know, taking the X amount of water and you go into the gym. Do we need any sort of mindset to help us, push us so we can physically achieve the things that we want to be doing to, to have that sort of lifestyle they want to have? I mean, the thing is, it, 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 it comes down to, you know, focusing on what you really want is like really becoming clear about what goal that you want to achieve when it comes to um, bringing health at the forefront of, of your life. I mean, mindset is a does come into it, as we all know, because if you if you're not feeling like you have the ability to achieve something, it yourself in your mind then that that you're not going to because your mind is just going to keep telling you that you can't do whatever it is so you know it's it's really important to i uh, you know either start journaling or affirmations or you know there's so many different things you can do or get a mindset coach that can support you with that you know or a habit changing coach someone that can can help you if you feel that you've tried different things and it hasn't you know 
made any impact yeah so yeah mindset is really important good so basically if it really means so much to you then you have to give it all the much that you've got from within you from inside of you thank you so very much for sharing that beautiful tips with us so yeah do you have anything coming on that you want to share with people like a gift what i mean by a gift is anything that can help them achieve their goal you've got a service you've got a product you've got something you've got a tip you know do you have anything to gift us on this you've got something to you know product services so you that is good because yeah, yeah. when i say gift some people don't understand for me as business entrepreneur i'm sorry but that is the truth anything that i sell anything that i offer is a gift because it's changing your life in one way or the other and that is just it so it's a gift. What do you have to give us? So I have a um, free strategy call. So where I will talk to someone about, um, you know, exactly what they want to achieve in terms of their health and fitness and, you know, really focus on them and focus on how that they can come out with a, a clear idea on what, on how they, the steps that they can achieve. This. So my free strategy, they can get that from me They um, on my website. So if you, if someone just fills in a contact form on my website, which is We Grow Up Fitness and Health, that's my um, website, www. Obviously. And also I have a, feel, uh, a free uh, Facebook group, which is Feel Fit and Fabulous and Sexy Over 40. So um, that's, I put tips in there every single day. So I have Motivation Monday, Tasty Tuesday, where I do a recipe, Wednesday, Workout Wednesday, so you get a nice little workout. Thursday is throw it out there, so it could be anything. And Friday's Fit Tip Friday. So yeah, that's another gift that I can give to people. Thank you very much. You've got so many gifts for us, and we are really grateful <laughs> for that. So um, you are, we are going to put down your comment. Um, a link to your website to your group to you know if you can do that now the thing is for me when i use be live you know you know it's it's i'm everywhere you know what i mean yeah. so okay. after okay. the show i'm okay. gonna put in the comments and then you can put in the comments so that people who watch on replay can yeah. access um you know all of those things and get in touch with you or ask you questions because i know that there are so many over 40s who are really struggling to stay healthy you know mm. and you know, they're really itching for people like you who will be able to help them out so thank you so much for all these wonderful wonderful you know tips you've shared with us i'm not going to take all of your tips away from you so that people can come <laughs> to privacy and get the tips from you so thank you so very much Jacqueline for being on the show tonight and this is where we're going to be ending the show it's the tell and grow your business I am muted at Debo Ali thank you for watching everyone